well. And the number six Stephen bike is Stephen Thompson. Thompson. Yeah. yeah, he's having a good ride too. There's Cameron Donald. Keep an eye out on the Australian. Two big crashes in qualifying. He's pretty well beaten up. But Cameron Donald, he's really getting down to a bit of Irish racing. That was Guy Martin going through there as well. But I suspected he would be a little bit nearer the front. And I'm sure he'd want to be right on board now. Now we've got the horsepower. And this is Platon. The front wheel's coming up in the air as he goes through. Rutter in front, Anstey in second place, but which one of the HM plant boys just listen to the sound of these motorcycles? Absolutely incredible harmony as they go out here. I don't remember a Northwest where we've had weather quite as nice as it is today. And really, we are set for a cracking race meeting. Look at this, four top superbike men almost on top of each other. And very interesting, well, <laughs> the train's trying to come through there. No getting on that, boys, but watching those guys wheeling at 180 miles an hour to use the back brake a lot to keep the front end down. One of the problems is when the front comes up, the wind and the air gets underneath it. He just wants to carry on. Oh, Plater comes through on Anstey Shirley to take third as they go up and over the link. No, he doesn't, but he yes, will he on does. the brakes. He, he has on the brakes. He's squeezed Anstey against the curb. Plater goes third, and he's up behind the pole sitter, his teammate for this weekend, John McGuinness. A lot of rivalry between Plater and your race leader here, Michael Rutter. Rutter never gives anything away. Plater's going to have to take it. Last year, he was thwarted, and he looked pretty angry to me to be beaten in the second place last year. He's not won a Northwest 200 race ever, Steve Plater. So he's looking for his first ever win, remember. Meanwhile, Rutter's looking to try and equal Joey's record of superbike wins. And yes, now Plater has just a clear piece of track in front of him for his He's uh, the man he's trying to chase, and as you rightly say, last year, of course, Rutter was on the HM plant bike. This time, Plater's on it, and he's got a clear track ahead of him to close him down. But a bit of slipstreaming coming from Anstey. He's pulled out from behind John McGuinness. Will that give him a ride down beside Plater or not? He's still Rutter that leads, but look at this. Three bikes behind him, side by side. It is Plater that comes in and sits to the shoulder of Michael Rutter as they go to the Corona chicane in and out. Now then, it's going to be down, Steve, to the breaking area at Metropole. Who has got the biggins? Yeah, I don't know who's got the biggins. We know they're all very, very experienced there as we come onto this very fast section. Train changing surface there a little bit. It's nice and grippy here on the brakes. Who's going to switch to the inside? They're all in a slip so it's Anstey on the inside oh, now, Plater. Right up against oh. the kerb. They were really jockeying for position. Anstey's going to go through the pair of them. He's going to go around the outside of Plater. I didn't think I would oh. live to see the day that he did that to Steve Plater. Watch Plater on the inside yeah. now. They've got the drive lovely stuff there that this is, is short cool. circuit stuff now as they come up to church corner as <laughs> looking every which way but Plater had it covered that was a nice move from him he just stopped it pointed it and squirted it and away he went so now it's battle of the big one now it's the twisty coastal section and the, the beautiful part of the circuit but these guys have got no chance to so look at it knees on the ground as they go through here now let's see it's going to be again breaking up towards the jupiter hill chicane on to the causeway and look at this it's the, the hm plant honda that looks pretty good as far as drives concerned i think plater looks just a little bit better along this section but in the braking area the stobart honda man michael rudder seems to just have a little bit extra into this chicane of course it has been his undoing in the past remember the renegade ducatis where he had massive leads and seemed to get himself it was his undoing he fell down at juniper chicane now then, Rutter, we're coming into the start and finish area now through Juniper, and this is a really tricky little turn. Never seen a, a big pass here, but of course you can run into that into that ditch almost by the side of the track there if you're not very, very careful. And it is still a little bit dusty there, being slightly cautious, I'm sure, through their plate. And that bike is just turning so quickly. Really is absolutely superb. Wait, chucks it into the corners. Plater looking very, very menacing now, but there's not really anywhere to pass here. Maybe down into York Corner, but it's bumpy down there. You've got to get your weight back as much as you can. And he hasn't got any weight, Plater. He only weighs about six oh. stone ringing wet. And he made a mistake there, and he almost hit the rear end of Michael Rutter. That was a mistake on the way in. Foot off the footrest there, Steve. Well, I think he's just showing his desperation to try and win this race if he can. His dad, Trev, said to me uh, before we came on that uh, he really, really, really wanted this race. We're coming up to Mill Road. No, we're not. This is the last lap. Mill Road's roundabout now. Plater has got to regain some composure. And so has Michael Rutter because he has now lost all his drive out of his right hander. Lost it just a little bit, went a little bit wide. 
It is so difficult, Keith, as you well know. You've, you're going 180 miles an hour at times, and then all of a sudden you're down. Oh, look at that. Guy Martin stumbling into Mill Road roundabout, almost clear in the rear end of Ian Locker. Uh, is Cameron Donald, I think, in front of the Australian. Have another great ride. Meanwhile, Blade is back. Blade a wheelies. Oh, dear me. That was almost, well, if he had a light in the back of the seat, Stevie would have busted it. I think he probably would have, and he was just trying to make a move there, but the front came up too much. Now, in and so you can see all the time they've got 200 horsepower. These things want to revolve around a back mark and number one either side. That would be a scary moment as these two come through. So we're on the last lap now. Tyres starting to be an issue all the time. Manufacturers are involved here. There's Dunlop, Pirelli, and uh, Metzler here. And, uh, oh, look at this, Steve, side by it. side again. I tell you what, right out to the white, right on the white. There was chalk dust, it was on the line. Steve Plater is determined to win the opening superbike race here today. The Entech Dunlop versus, well, the Entech Dunlops, because both these men are on Dunlops. The only front runner is Bruce Anstey, who's on the, Mitchell, on the uh, Pirellis. As we go over the link now, where is Plater going to do it, Steve? I don't know how you can stay so cool. Well, who knows where he's going to do it, but it's going to be a dueling in the braking area. I thought these bikes seem very, very well matched. But going back to the tyres now, they're hot. The temperature on the track's pretty hot, but nowadays, Things seem to be pretty reliable with these. They've got a lot oh. of grip. There is the exhaust pipe of that Stobart machine. What a picture this is. Oh. Look at it wriggling and weaving, and that's really oh. the tyre all working around. There's no room. It doesn't get any closer than that, Steve. Uh, you wouldn't want to get that close to me here in the commentary box, let alone out there at 180 miles an hour. Uh, he's gone through. He's, gone he's through. through. And then look at that. Anstey's still there, number five. So it is a deal for these three. We've still got John McGuinness back in fourth place. The back markers there getting swallowed up again now in line astern as they charge off. Now it's about 187 miles an hour on this part of the Whoa! circuit. And the front wheels, I said, when they come up, they don't want to come down because of the air that's rushing underneath the bikes. And she's in a great place here to pick up a big slipstream down towards Metropole. We're at Corona now. Oh. As Michael Rutter shows his determination, he wants to win this race. He does not want to let Plater. This is good to see Rutter fighting with these guys. Rutter wants to be the king of the Northwest 200. Well, he's going to have to fight for it if he wants to be it. Yeah, he's going to stick it up. Dechen plants a little bit here, but Rutter oh. saw him sticking his knee out there. He's making that Honda as wide as he possibly can, but it's not wide enough. Plater's on the inside. Surely Metropole. he's going to get through. Metropole will actually be able to pinch and place if these two shoot themselves up the oh, side. He has got right at the top. Will go. He's gone in sideways as well in the dusty bed. Dirty part of the track. Through has gone Rutter again. Plater has given him a, an opportunity. Well, Plater finished second. Will he be able to force Rutter out? There's only really one other passing place. It's got to be into Juniper, surely. I think Michael Rutter has got this just about covered. He's done all the fighting. He's just got to get the coast road bang on. And he's there to pick up any pieces. This is a complete replica of last year. Will Plater be thwarted again? Will Rutter make it? Nine Superbike wins and equal Joey Dunlop's record of Superbike wins here at the Northwest. Well, it might be a replica of last year, but we didn't have Anst in it last year because he's still within a chance fit. And he's just behind us here now, tipping in. Plater's closed, but. Pressure, Rutter's pressure. Got oh, Rutter's gone over the grass. Rutter slipped off in the most. Well, I don't understand what happened there. I'm going to have to see a replay. Michael Rutter has oh. gone down. Well, he just went in there a little bit too hot, Keith, didn't he? Touched the inside there that moved, made him go out wide. Steve Unreal. Plater is going to win his first ever Northwest 200 race. He comes to the line. Well, it was a gift. I'm sure he wouldn't have liked it that way, but he applied the pressure to Michael Rutter. And Rutter said, they don't know it's finished. They no, don't know it's finished. They're doing another lap. Those two have just gone straight through. Ha, they're enjoying themselves that much. They've done another nine miles, but it makes no difference to the winners. It is Steve Plater from Bruce Anstey and John McGuinness. That's your top three.